My name is Marie Walsh from Limerick Institute of Technology and I'm going to talk to you about some very important hydrocarbon families of organic compounds, the alkanes, the alkenes and the alkynes. What do you already know? What do we already know? Organic chemistry is a branch of chemistry dedicated to compounds of carbon. Carbon is an amazing element. It forms more compounds than all the other elements. What is so special about carbon? Carbon is unique in many ways. It is a small atom and has a valency of four. This means that carbon has four available sites for bonding in its valence or outermost electron energy level, so it can form four single covalent bonds, as shown in this molecule of methane. Double bonds form when two carbon atoms share two pairs of electrons to make two covalent bonds. Triple bonds form when two carbon atoms share three pairs of electrons. Carbon atoms can bond with each other to form long chains as shown in this molecule of heptane. Sometimes the ends of those chains bond together to form what we call a ring-like molecule, for example, cyclohexane. The ability to form different types of covalent bonds is important when we discuss these hydrocarbon families. What are hydrocarbons? They are a large collection of organic compounds. They are all composed only of carbon and hydrogen. They can be classified as aliphatic or aromatic. Aliphatic means the carbon atoms in the molecules are in chains. Aromatic means the carbon atoms in the molecules are based on what we call benzene rings. Different families are called homologous series. That is a series of compounds with the same general formula. They have the same chemical properties because they have the same functional group. Their physical properties differ because of increasing mass and density. We will look at three aliphatic homologous series or families, the alkanes, the alkenes and the alkynes. The three families all contain carbon and hydrogen. What do the names of the families have in common? They all contain the prefix ALK or ALK. This is used to form classification names for classes of organic compounds which contain a carbon skeleton but no aromatic rings. What is different about the names? The ending tells us what family we are talking about. Hydrocarbons can also be described as saturated or unsaturated. Saturated hydrocarbons have only single bonds between the carbon atoms. Alkanes have no double or triple carbon to carbon bonds. Every carbon is linked to neighbouring atoms by single bonds only. Unsaturated hydrocarbons have at least one double or triple bond between carbons. Alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They are unsaturated because each molecule contains at least one carbon to carbon double bond in the alkenes and at least one carbon to carbon triple bond in the alkynes. Alkenes and alkynes are more reactive than the alkanes because of the carbon to carbon double or triple bond. We can tell the family by the end of the molecule's name. For individual molecules, the prefix changes to reflect the number of carbons in the molecule. We can see what this looks like for the first 10 alkanes. The red prefixes tell us the number of carbons per molecule. For example, meth is 1, eth 2, prop 3 butch 4, and so on as we go down through the list. Let's look at the molecules for each of the families that have two carbons. 
beginning of the name for each is ETH. Ethane has two carbons with a single bond between them. Ethene has two carbons with a double bond between them. And ethine has three, two carbons with a triple bond between them. Did you notice anything about the number of hydrogens on each molecule? As the molecules change from saturated ethane to unsaturated ethene, and then more unsaturated ethine, you should have noticed that the number of hydrogen atoms decreases. All of these molecules are combustible. Can you predict what will happen when each hydrocarbon burns? Hydrocarbons that burn in sufficient oxygen produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. This heat energy is the reason why many alkanes in particular are used as fuels. Their chemical properties change depending on whether they are saturated or unsaturated. Saturated molecules tend to be more stable. Saturated molecules undergo substitution reactions. We can see an example of this here. Can you describe what is being substituted in this reaction? Unsaturated molecules tend to be more reactive and they undergo addition reactions. We can see an example of this. The carbon-carbon double bond breaks and a hydrogen adds to each of the carbons making a saturated product. Note that there is only one product and that the addition has changed the reactant from an unsaturated molecule to a saturated product. We should also mention that ethene has worldwide production more than any other organic chemical. It's used as a starter molecule for lots of different products. One product that we all use in various forms is made by polymerization of ethene. Can you explain what polymerization is and name the product and some of its uses? What should we know about these hydrocarbon families? Homologous series include alkanes, which are saturated aliphatic compounds that react by substitution. Alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated aliphatic compounds that react by addition. All of the molecules, to a greater or lesser extent, are combustible to produce energy. Thank you for watching and listening. Please check the project portal for more resources on the alkanes, alkenes and alkynes.